Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this morning's ceremony. Throughout the event, you will be given cues to rise and be seated at the appropriate times. As a reminder, during the playing of our national anthem, military members should stand at attention and our civilian guests should place their right hand over their heart. We request cellular phones and all other electronic devices be silenced at this time. The ceremony will begin shortly. Thank you. Good morning. Would you please rise for the playing of the national anthem? Thank you. Would you please be seated? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The men and women of the Department of the Air Force pay special tribute to Dr. Lucy Green with today's portrait unveiling. We are honored to highlight the artist who painted the portrait, Mrs. Faye Hyatt. The presiding official for today's ceremony is the 23rd Wing Commander, Colonel Paul Sheets, and our guest speakers are Valdosta Mayor Scott James Matheson and Chairman of the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners, Bill Slaughter. Thank you, honored guests, for your attendance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Matheson. Uh, get ready for another round of applause, too. I'm going to stick to the script. <laughs> um, practice with me for the end of the script. Practice with me right now, the ever so lovely Dr. Lucy Green. That was a repeat after me. The ever so lovely Dr. Lucy Green. She's been honored many times over. She's been recognized for her selfless sacrifice at all levels of military and civilian government. She is, a, she is cherished beyond description, but it's pretty cool that today she's gonna to be immortalized. I asked AI to write my speech for me and to capture the essence of Dr. Lucy Green. It shot back, impossible request. <laughs> I asked my speechwriters at the city to give me a hand putting together the speech and they responded, impossible request. Both artificial intelligence and intelligent humans told me what I already knew. Everyone's Dr. Lucy experience is a personal one. Everyone's Dr. Lucy experience is unique to them, cherished by them, and one that they'll carry with them throughout their life. Our community can never thank you enough. No other base on planet Earth and now beyond as our secret weapon. Someone who is a mom to all and at the same time so respected that doors swing open at all levels of military and civilian government. To our secret weapon, 
the weapon that you see coming and gladly let your guard down for. Please say it with me, everybody. The ever so lovely Dr. Lucy Gray. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Chairman Slaughter. Well, let me say just right off, uh, Mayor Matheson has a whole lot more resources than I have. Uh, I got great people, but he was able to get someone to help him with his speech, I'm sure. Uh, but I, you know, I'm up here today really to talk from my heart. Um, Dr. Lucy, this community can never repay you and Parker for the things that you've done for the airmen here at Moody Air Force Base and for this community and the connection that you've brought us all together and the glue that has held us together for years and years. You're to be loved for that, which you are. Uh, this community loves the ever so lovely Dr. Lucy Green. I say a lot of times, I had the opportunity to work with Parker and to work with Dr. Lucy in support of Moody Air Force Base. Dr. I mean, Dr. Lucy, she was the social side of that relationship. Parker, he was the business side of that relationship. As Dr. Lucy always said, she was Parker's administrative assistant, and she done a fabulous job with that. Of course, once we lost Parker, she was very quick to step up and take that role to continue to represent this community and Moody Air Force Base, not just here in our community, but from a national level in D.C. and everywhere else. She's known nationwide for the hard work that she's put in for advocating for the airmen that here at Moody Air Force Base and for Moody Air Force Base proper itself. So Dr. Lucy, again, this is a great day. It's a day that has been long coming uh, and we are proud of you. I am extremely proud to call you a friend and to be a friend of yours. So again, congratulations and all the accolades that you get from here on out. Uh, it's just going to be more and more jewels in your crown. So thank you for everything that you do for, for this community. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the portrait as it is unveiled for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, the 23rd Wing Commander, Colonel Paul Sheets. Good morning, and uh, thank you for everyone for being here today and being part of this, this special event that we're having. As we stand here today in the presence of this splendid portrait, honoring the ever so lovely Dr. Lucy Green, I'm filled with a profound sense of gratitude and admiration. This portrait, captured by the talented Wes Sewell and brought to life by the gifted Faye Hyatt, is more than just a representation of Dr. Lucy's likeness. It is a testament to her extraordinary legacy of service, compassion, and dedication. The work of Dr. Lucy and the late Parker Green is unparalleled. These are names that are synonymous with military support for more than 50 years. 
the tireless efforts to strengthen the bond between Moody Air Force Base and the surrounding communities has left an enduring mark on all of us. Even if I were to serve in the Air Force for another decade, or a second decade after that, I would not begin to scratch the surface on what the Greens have done for Moody Air Force, airmen, families, and our community. It's truly remarkable. I always say what makes Moody Air Force Base so special to me, the airmen and the families here, is the unmatched and unparalleled community support. And in the unveiling of this portrait today, let's not only celebrate Dr. Lucy's remarkable achievements, but also reaffirm our commitment to carrying forward the work of the ever so lovely and faithful Moody Support Committee. Let us pledge to continue building bridges of understanding and cooperation and ensuring the relationships between Moody Air Force Base and our neighboring communities remain strong and resilient for generations to come. Dr. Lucy, on behalf of Team Moody, I extend my deepest thanks for your unwavering dedication and your selfless service and your profound impact on the lives of the airmen, their families. May this portrait serve as a lasting tribute to your extraordinary legacy, inspiring us all to reach to greater heights in service to our country and our community. I do not have enough words to state how impactful you have been to the lives of so many. You truly care about the airmen and the community that surround them, and you are most deserving of this honor. On behalf of all the Moody airmen and families, thank you, Dr. Lucy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the ever so lovely Dr. Lucy. because we are a unit. And really, it's just a Moody support team. It's more like a team, because uh, we don't have committee meetings. <laughs> it's my mayor and my chairman and the manager, Paige, and then Chuck Steele, we have Tim Keller, Randy Cruz, and here's manager Hardy, there's A.D. Holt. A.D. Holt has been with this group since its very beginning, and that was in the 90s. Right, you know, so this is a strong group of individuals. And then, Charles, you represent Congress, so come on up here and stand with us. <laughs> <laughs> we always stay in touch, you know, with the Pentagon folks. That's the undergirding of all our defense forces, and it's so important. Uh, we do this because we love you. And we do this because we know that this country is the greatest in the world, and the fact that you will step up to defend it deserves our true devotion and acknowledgement. So just know that every single day, right, we are in touch, and we are in touch with Washington, and we are talking about Moody, and we are waving your flag, and holding up the Moody example for the rest of the Air Force. So what I'm hoping is that when this 
portrait goes to the Parker Green building. I've been told that I'm going to be right beside Parker, so we will be hanging together as we always have. <laughs> <laughs> and had a, we had a great life together and uh, have enjoyed everything we've done with Rudy Air Force Base. We have been so privileged to know many outstanding gentlemen. And we appreciate you, all of us here this morning, appreciate you daily. And you are in our prayers and in our hearts. Whenever you deploy and whenever you're carrying out your training exercises and the lead tiger takes you in the field, uh, we are, we're just proud of you. So I just want you to know that I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I hope that when these portraits are hanging, you will not only think of the greens, but you will think of all those people through the years who have helped and supported in this cause. Because it really is the entire city and county and surrounding areas. And so it's all the people who are behind you and who are loving you daily. So thank you so much. And thank you so much. Would you please be seated? Thank you all for your kind words. From this point on, the portrait will be on permanent display in the Parker Green Building, 23rd Wing Headquarters, Building 105, to remind us of the incredible work of the Green family and to showcase the strong ties that bond our communities together. And now, would you please rise for the playing of the Air Force song This concludes this morning's ceremony. We invite you to make your way to the front of the room to view the portrait. Please join us for refreshments in the back. And again, thank you for attending and we wish you a pleasant day. <laughs>